One time, me and my mother was out on, outside sitting out, and this guy named Giant, he's deceased. He was getting money back in the day. All his money is the wind was blowing. His money just started blowing over. I'm young. I'm running. I'm helping him get his money. I'm running and grabbing money all off the ground for him, on the sidewalk, and I gave it all to him. So when I walk back, he'll give me his little space. And I'm thinking he's going to be like, he go, little man. He just got all this money back, counted on and put it. He ain't give me nothing. I say, man, it's chump. But I was just saying to myself, I ain't tell it to him now. But, um, you know, we grew up around that kind of stuff. So, And that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a gangster. I wanted somebody to teach me how to do this stuff. And I don't regret nothing I've done in life. And I tell people this over and over and over. The reason why I don't regret nothing I've done in life, because I've never deleted a child, mm. an innocent person. Everybody that I walked down or did something to was in the streets, in the game with me. You know, and you don't, that's not to justify, because, you know, doing wrong is doing wrong. But I don't regret nothing I've done in life. Mm -hmm. I don't hate him. No, he didn't mess my life up. I ain't, because that be stuff people looking for a crutch. Oh, you did, he messed my... Now, here's the thing. If Bird take me on a hit, and then I be like, oh, bro, I feel funny. I don't want to do that no more. No, you got to do it. Come here. If you want to do it, I'm going to do something to your mother. It now, was never like that. No, no way, because no. I would hit him. <laughs> so, uh, no, it's never like that. So, but I'm just saying, then I would look at it different. If 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 he took me to do something, and I had a funny feel like, I don't like that. Uh, I don't want to do that no more. Bro, and then he threatened me that way. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna delete your mother or one of your little brothers or somebody. You better go do this. Now, as I, if I, once I get older, yes, I will have, I will feel some kind of resentment towards him. Do you say delete for our sake on YouTube, or yeah. is that because you just don't really like putting it that way? I be telling for y'all. I thought you can't oh. see. Oh, yeah. Fine, yeah. But, I, mean, I was just curious if it like, like does it. something a little different for you if you don't want to be on camera saying like I killed this guy I killed that oh, guy I have a problem with that oh, okay. yeah but I just thought that <laughs> you two don't approve you know what I'm saying so, probably a good good move on your part yeah, yeah. so yeah I, was, I just thought you two don't approve that so yeah um, but no so uh, but like I say there are people that have situations that's upset with their family members and they're upset with their family members or upset with their people that have forced them into the game because they really didn't want to do that. Mm. I really wanted to do it. And after him, I kept doing it. And once they went, bro, in my phone conversation, one time he called me and said, man, come on, man, leave the hood alone. Come on, go on tour with us. Oh, we going to RCL, MC, one of them. I was like, man, you tripping, man. I'm married to the project, the hood. I ain't want to buy because mm. I was making good money with heroin. Um, then uh, one time he called me and said, bro, let me hide in my parole laws. I'm going to see if I can go. Mm -hmm. But he was trying to pull me out. Once he started doing good, man, come on, it, cause all this is documented. That the man was like, literally like, man, come on, we finna now, it's time for you to, but I'm too far gone now, bro. Mm. I'm an animal now, so I don't, nah, I'm in the jungle. Were you even worried about getting caught after one like that? Or was it the kind of thing where like, there's nobody literally standing right there, so you just assumed you were good? Yeah, I assumed I was good, um, and as I got older, see, New Orleans is different. We, we get the police report. Uh -huh. So we know who the witness is, they phone them, they address where they work at, their social security number, we got all that. And then they have a thing where if we not indicted in 60 days, then they got to let us, they got to release us. So you got some people that will lock you up for murder and you're going to sit until whatever. But in New Orleans, I heard they changed the law, whereas the prosecute, the DA now can ask for an extension and get another 60 so they can hold you up to 120, mm. 124 months. After, other than that, they have to release you. Mm. But now, if they could get more evidence, they'd come back and pick you up. Mm. But, man, I, and I wasn't worried about nothing because I had the homie Killer Stone, the big money man, and I had Doing the Story Mosquito, uh, you know, countless other shooters uh, that I don't want to really name because some of them still living um, that I didn't have to worry about nobody coming to court. Is, is shit different now where like people are a lot more willing to tell now? You always hear that like everybody's yeah. snitching so shit is way different now. Way different, yeah. That's that stuff is acceptable now. Some At that do. time it was like unheard of for people in your community to be telling about some shit that they saw? Oh, like the neighbors, yeah, they don't see nothing. The neighbors, everybody stuck together. Mm. The neighbor, but you might have one person that might still say something if it happened to their family member. Mm -hmm. But if it's somebody outside that got whacked and y'all present sir, Oh, no, nah, man, ain't nobody seen none. Mm. No, nah, we ain't heard, no, we ain't seen none. Let me say something. My, 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 my homeboy, Blackie Moe, he told me, say, he said, always be nice to the children and the old folks in your neighborhood. And I followed that, right? And one day, I had just left out my house. The homicide come and kicked in my mother's door. 
I'm around the corner at the block party for the one who told me to be nice to the children and the people in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Somebody had killed him. So we had a block party for him. Mm -hmm. I'm at the block party. This older woman and children come running around in the courtyard. Gangster, gangster, run. The homicide, the police coming. They're coming for you. Because mm. they had saw him kicking my mother's door. Mm. So I'm way on a few other court, courtyards over, but I listen to what he told me. I make sure everybody in my neighborhood cool. They good. Take care of them. I just come through in my infinity, throwing money out the sunroom, just showing love. And when you do that, your neighborhood going to love you back. Mm. Definitely. What's the difference between what we see of Birdman on camera and the real version of him? Like, does it occur to you ever when you see him on camera that he's kind of playing a character, or is that basically him on and off camera? I mean, that's a good question. Um, when I see him, because I've seen him go off one time when I come on, I say, whoa, that's the demon, that's the Birdman I know, right? Mm. But on camera, um, it's a big front. He more on some business, laid back. Because, you know, you got to keep on, you got a guy that come from the hood, come from the slum that was really in the mud, made it big. And what I love is he's showing people like, I made it out, you could do it too. But then when I see him, the, the, the thing that I salute him with, it'd be a lot of disrespect that people be coming at him with. And I'd be like, man. And like I said, it's killers all over. It's people who got money, people. But I know his potentials. I know who he know. Mm -hmm. I know that. A phone call, man. Look, take care. You know, I know the power he have. Mm. You know, so I be like, man, this guy here tripping. This guy crazy. But then I think about, you gotta come out the tunnel vision and be like, well, this guy got people too. Though this guy got money. This guy could send hitters too. Cause like in this day and time, everybody got money. Everybody got shooters. Mm. Right. I'm learning that too. So um, I guess people look at it like how we used to look at it. you tough. I'm tough. We're gonna see the toughest. But when I just see him, um, whole. His composure, you know, stay humble sometime. I be like, yeah, well, I like that. 